what's up guys dark visor here been a while been busy life is stressful lord help me relationships can just my god it is stressful um but i had a, i've had a ton going on lately and it, it's been stressful but um also working on cosplay trying to get my cosplays ready for dragon con you know it's gonna be awesome uh mostly dragon ball z of course and all that good stuff but um big news from yesterday which was kind of randomly thrown out there uh way forward teamed up with limited run games as you guys know they've done releases in the past their games and bundles and things like that but they announced that they are actually going back and going to make shantae advance for a lot of younger fans and some fans who may not know shantae advance was actually meant to be the sequel to the original shantae game you know before pirates curse and i don't think a lot of people know that because it, it kind of was announced and kind of died off really fast i still remember the old game magazines that kind of showed off you know some of the pictures and stuff but besides that nothing was concrete about the game it, it's like again it, it was you know said hey we're making this and it kind of just went away but they sent an email out yesterday to me and i, I meant to get around to it but wait for you know the email reads shantae's back in a game boy advance game 20 years in the making Independent Game Studio Way Forward, alongside Publisher Limited Run Games, is thrilled to announce that Shantae Advance Rescues Revolution, the long lost sequel to the original Shantae, is back in development. Um, it builds off the original game code from the two, early 2000s. This once canceled title will be completed and released physically on a Game Boy Advance compatible cartridge. A behind the scenes video, as revealed by Limited Run's Game and Additional Event, can be seen on YouTube. So it's going to be released on, you know, actual Game Boy Advance systems, which thank God I still have my old Game Boy Advance SP in my back room, you know, and it still works somehow, but it's still back there. Uh, last game I played was Sonic Battle. Don't ask me why, you know. <laughs> um, but this game, like I said, fills the gap between Shantae the original and Shantae Risky's Revenge. It sees Shantae protecting Secret Land again, from the twisted new plot from an old enemy, Risky Boots. Risky is using a new secret subterranean device and is able to rotate and rearrange the continent, plunging it into chaos and giving her more coastal cities to plunder. Fortunately, by harnessing this same technology and the knowledge of the relic hunters, players will be able to turn the tables on Risky, giving Shantae new paths through environments and a chance to thwart the villain schemes. And honestly, I love Shantae because like almost every plot involves the sea somehow. So maybe Pirate's Curse, I think, but most things like Risky keeps getting things from under the sea. Like, wh why do you keep going up under there? But I, that's actually a bigger lore question, which I could dive into one day where a lot of stuff is underwater because I believe, you know, Shantae takes place in the future where the world was just completely covered with water, you know, because they keep finding things under there that was actually like a bicycle, things like that but um right now the only release that we have for it is early 2024 the platform is game boy advance and the players are one to four players and price to be announced more than likely it's going to be 30 dollars. i don't see it, it won't be above 30 dollars. It's there's no way they would even consider that it's a game boy advance game they don't have any other systems listed so it definitely will not be above 30. I, I would be surprised if it even like touched 40, but 30 and below, more than likely 15 or 20, you know, for a Game Boy Advance game in this day and age. But it's surprising that their uh, way for is going back and making this game though. Again, you don't really see many companies go back to make it actually, it's like, I know a few companies actually still make Dreamcast games and I believe, I think the NES had a few games still made, you know, by later companies. But you don't see many companies going back to make old games like this for well i take that back you do see them but you don't see them made in the original format for that game you know because there are some other games that were announced yesterday which i would do a separate video for because i would i can just rant and rave about how much i love those games uh gex and tomb Tum tumba it's a pig game i forget how you pronounce it. it's tumba uh um i love those games but the fact that shanta is getting a new game is, is pretty exciting Though I still want to see Shantae 6 because I still, I'm a person I don't really care for prequels. For me, they just, I don't like prequels. They, I don't like going backwards. Like you build the story up and go back. I don't like that. Now, I'm not bashing way for or anything. I'm just talking about usually in media and stuff like that. I don't really care for prequels. Um, 
but I still want to see a Shantae 6 one day because I still have so many questions with Shantae Universe that I want to see answered eventually. And the sad thing with life is you get older. I'm, I'm going to die eventually one day. And that's the sad thing you start to realize when you get older. It's like there's a lot of media out there that's going to take years to come out. But years pass and time flies and, you know, but I still have uh, several years to be living. I mean, I got a long time, to, you know, till I get old, but it's just a feeling you get sometimes. But, you know, I still want to see what happened to uh, Roddy Tops. How did she die? I still want to see Shantae's parents. I mean, we've been hinted at her dad and her mom, who her, who her, mom, her dad is. We, we know who her dad is. You know, he's the hero in Pirate's Curse. But I still want to see her mom. I still want to know what she's fighting or if they even are still fighting the evil that they're trying to hold back. I want to know what happened to Sequin Land. Like, why is all this technology up in the water? Like, Wave Forward has a ton of story beats they can touch with Shantae. It's just getting to each one, you know. And each game somewhat tickles the lore a little bit um seven sirens somewhat touched the lore but it kind of had its own story you know i think they only mentioned shantae's mom at the very end with the book saying like oh yeah you know she wrote him this but otherwise that that game kind of had its own story you know separate from the main story plots but still this is great news more than likely since it's coming coming from limited run games there will be more than likely a collector's edition, you know, stuff like that with extra goodies. So I look forward to it. But if I get any other news, I'll let you guys know. Besides right now, that's all they sent me in the press email. Um, I'm looking right now. That's it. Um, but I will go ahead and toss this in here. If any of you, if they do announce a collector's edition, which I think a lot of fans forget and they tend to get overexcited for, just know it's going to take a few years to come out. Okay. Uh, limited run game is notorious with their collector's editions for being like several eight months after the game is out usually it takes a long time for them to come out but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys right now again like i said the little tidbits you know if anything else comes out i'll let you guys know because information is still kind of scarce right now and again that you guys know if they release again if they release a collector's edition just know limited run games it will take a while for it to come out because there have been times where I, you know we pretty much when i order a, a collector edition for limited run games i put it out my mind because i know i'm not going to see it for a long time so usually when i get the email saying it's shipping i'm confused on what it is like what what am i getting from this people what, what is this ups tracking number from who is this and it's usually them because like i said it's been that long you know so you just gotta kind of wait um, if they have anything pre-produced, I mean, that's that's different. But yeah, usually the C CE editions take a long time to come out. Like I said, I usually bank a, at least at least around eight months after you put your order in, you know, at, at the least. You may get it. You may get it quicker. I, I highly doubt it. But usually, like I said, around eight months after you place your order, you'll probably see it. But uh, hang on. I take that back. If they take pre-orders now. When the game comes out, you still have to wait, like I said, about, about I want to say probably about six, six, seven, six or seven um, months, you know. But yeah, we'll see. They may, get, they may have been faster lately. I haven't ordered anything since the uh, Shantae skateboard sets, I think. So we'll see. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hope you guys have been doing well. Hopefully we'll get more news soon because I've been wanting to make more Shantae videos. It's just been, we haven't had anything to do in a while. But... I got to get back in here, work on some more cosplay stuff, cut out some foam. So until next time, you guys stay awesome, stay pixelated, and I'll talk to you guys later.